Hey, we are here. Um, this is day three on the vlog, so good morning, folks. Um, it's, I was going to say it's not a good morning, but I did wake up, so that's a great morning. But coffee. These, these hotels, I told Bob about it. Hotels and a lot of places are getting over by just start cutting out stuff, but they're not cutting the pay of the rooms. Like, no coffee at all. There's no coffee? No coffee. Sorry to ruin your day. Well, we can start our day over anytime we want. Yeah. <laughs> I can t let you know right now, my consecutive streak of waking up has been kept alive today. So it's a good day. Well, I, then I don't want to tell you what I was about to tell you. That's why I remember to cut this on. I got some bad news last night. I didn't go to bed at two. Two? Two. I had a sick chicken at home. Yeah, I did say in the past tense. So, what? Yes. Goldie Hawn did not make it. Oh, shit. Yeah, she died last night. She went to, I said, hey, can you go check for eggs? Because Tasha, that's why I went on this trip, because Tasha was going on a trip. Like, you're going on trips. I'm going to go on a trip, too. I feel left out. So she's going on a girl's trip, and, uh, whoa, a wedding. Somebody's getting wedding. I'm married. I don't know why they do that. But uh, <laughs> I'm just joking, kind of. But um, where was I at? Oh, before she was leaving to go to her trip, I said, hey, can you go collect the eggs at night? So she collected like 11 eggs. And uh, then she says, hey, uh, Goldie didn't make it. So she was in there, Pat, she died. So I said, just cut the lights off and I'll be home in two days and I'll bury her. But it's, it's sad, it's, I mean, it's chicken. Like, oh, it's a chicken, but it's not really a pet, but I treat any animal like, you know, I'm real sad, with, you know, cause uh, I try to, I get an attachment to them once they're sick and then you name them. You know, I don't name chickens. I just don't go about there naming 80 something chickens. So I think I have 84 chickens now. And then I was online last night. I almost ordered 10 more. I'm like, I'm not going. Then you got to do the cycle of going little chicken to medium chicken. And right. like, I'll wait till another batch where I'll just do more, you know, if I have in the future, if I ever do. But I, I think I lost four total out of 101. Wow. So. And she said, this chicken here, the one that died, just like the mucus and everything, I'm not gonna get into detail, but Luna had uh, probably the same thing everybody. And Luna was, she pulled through, so she's a real strong chicken. So, luckily she pulled through, she's a special chicken, but other than that, I, I'm, I don't wanna ruin your day, guys. It's gonna get, it, t today's gonna get better than that, okay? So, we have the 11 pound, 11 pound uh, burrito to do. And we found a challenge last night because there's another challenge that fell through uh, that uh, we'll try to revisit another time. But um, what else you got to do your thumbnail what you're doing on there? Doing a the thumbnail. Yeah, these, I personally saw Brandon, Brandon and Tasha caring for Goldie Hawn. Um, so I know they were attached to, to the chicken. Sounds a little bit weird. Yeah, but if you see the person, the guy, Tasha took the chicken to the bed, trying to put the medicine in, and um, sorry, <laughs> it's not a job call, so I guess I can. Um, you want to? Right, we can pause it. I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> so that's a sad situation, and as well as when we're trying to post where we're going to be for these challenges. There is so much work that goes in involved setting this up. Brandon did the vast majority for this trip. But no matter how many times you call and confirm with uh -oh. all the different employees, something always changes everywhere. Very rarely do we just walk in and say, remember I called? Oh yeah, I called in. It's always like, oh, we didn't realize we we're gonna yeah. be busy. We just got a big takeout order. So can we? Can you come back in two days? Yeah. And like, well, no, no we're, we're just coming we're, through. We have a little window. We have to be six hours from here. Yeah. You know. Yesterday I called and I said, hey, this is my full time job, you know, and they could only do one challenge. They could only do one. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm trying to stress this is my full time job. And I told Bob, I said, you know what? You don't got to really give me like $100 or anything. But can I give, you know, like to offer somebody a free meal if they just. Get out of yeah. they got rained out that day, like yeah. no, no work. So, I did make something happen, you know, to be you know, have a video. But uh, when you call and say, Hey, 
No need to call ahead, just an hour. They said an hour ahead. So I write all that down. I show them. I write everything down. Last night, I called the lady. He was like, so professional. Like, oh, she knows exactly what's going on. So I had no com com I have no problems. I think it's going to happen. But we get there. That person probably ain't working. Right. It's probably somebody, oh, I don't even know if we had a challenge. Oh, they stopped doing that last week. Yeah. So and no matter no matter and we try to pitch every scenario to still be able to do the challenge. So this particular challenge had a big bun on it. So we said, well, can we just use you know if it's a one pound bun, can we just use even a pound and a half of smaller buns? Just mm -hmm. put a ton of buns out there, and in some places like well, no, the the challenge is this, and that's the only way it's going to happen. So listen, it's their business. We totally respect them. But it, this is rough to do. It's yeah. good. Brandon said that the biggest problem is the different shifts. Communication. If you don't show up on the shift that you happen to call on, yeah. then that's another variable of, you know, that person didn't get the word that the challenge doesn't happen or it only happens on Tuesdays or, or it's not happening in October because it's Pumpkin Spice Month. Who knows? Yeah. There's so many reasons why this stuff does or doesn't happen. So, I mean, we try to get you as much content as possible, especially all the people that help sponsor this this trip. So we're always looking, so we found something different to do later today. Um, always scrambling to find something. Sometimes I call places three times to get three different people to see if I get the same answer. Like a police detective, they put you in different rooms. If you say the same thing, it, it might be true. Right. But, but you split them up and they say different things and you're like, ugh. But uh, I called one place. It was two hours from the house. I was going to drive to do a video for you guys. It oh yeah, come on in anytime. Don't have to call ahead. I called in, uh, the day before the day I was leaving that morning for something for that evening. Oh, we stopped doing that a month ago. A month. I just called like three weeks ago. It was like still. It was, they said it was happening, and um, it might have been even earlier because it didn't make really sense to me when the pro. Oh, Oh, one person says, oh yeah, let's come on down. In the background, the person's like, oh no, we don't do that. Like, wow, I'm glad they were standing in the background eavesdropping. Yeah. So, yeah. But we're, we're going to start complaining too much today. But uh, we're just, to try, I guess, not really complaining, but letting you know what happens behind the scene, I guess. So, I guess that's why they like watching my videos. It's not complaining, it's just when, when we post a schedule, and like, well, I, I wanted to see that burrito challenge. Like, well... Yeah, we tried. We actually went to the place and walked in, and they said, "No go." So but we don't post videos of that. Like, yeah, we don't post videos trying to blow up a store because a lot of times it's it's just an employee. They had no control over whether it yeah. happens or not. So we're not trying to throw anybody under the bus. Um, but that's why sometimes this stuff doesn't get posted. Yeah, not cause, not that we fail the challenge because we post if we fail. I'll post a video. And if you guys, I was so happy that some people do actually look at the trip schedules and somebody had uh, looked at it and they couldn't make it, but then they, since they couldn't make it, hey, where's that URL from last night of that video? Like, what URL? I have to, ex I have to edit it, export it, upload it, and I'm on a trip right now, so there's no way of me driving six hours doing two challenges and doing that, so... Uh, if you can't make it, that I, I'm sad that you can't make it, but um, usually videos I do today will, will come out in two or three weeks. So it, it, it goes in order too. Like when I put some video out, like an eating video comes out today of a challenge, but but you want to see one I did yesterday, like, oh, I can't wait for that one. Well, I'm, you probably said you couldn't wait for the one that's coming out today too. So it's like in order. So, yeah. but... This is stuff that we go through that we it's that you don't usually see. So we're just trying to say it's not the easiest job in the world just to oh this guy eats for a living. It's uh it's a lot of a lot of like this trip took me over a month to 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 go back and forth and figure out the trip schedule line and it's a lot of a lot of jumping back and forth and calling people. But we have to get going because we have we have to uh get to the uh the burrito um and set up so that's going to be an event, uh, a different kind of event I've never done when people trying to beat our time like that. So, okay. Anything you got to say before? No. Okay. Well, we're going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to get more positive today. Okay. You just wait, watch, stop fast forwarding.
GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> oh, GoPro, stop recording. Made it to the bad as burrito, A Z Z guys. It's not my cursing. Um, we're looking uh, forward to this. The, the, I don't even think we told them today what exactly this is. It's four four amateurs to beat two uh, professionals here. Um, they get two thousand dollars today only if they can beat us. I think it's up to six different teams of four. Um, and. Uh, after today, I think I might go to a jackpot, but you have to call the store if you want to get the further um, instructions or clarification of the challenge, because I'm not really sure, and I'm not trying to lie to you on Fridays. You excited? You pumped? I am very excited. You're still kind of... I really enjoy the food here, um, and I see they have a special, too. They have four rolled tacos, rice, beans, and cheese sauce for seven thirty-seven. So. I mean, we've been eating a lot in this trip, but I don't know. I might. I, I don't like to pass. I don't like to pass up deals. Right? That's a good deal. I don't, we might have to get in on that. Yeah. Uh, but the boys are back in town. Saginaw. We told you to come back for you. We're here. Any four of you people want to take us on? We're up for the challenge. Not sure we can beat you, but we are going to give it our best. Yes. And I want to tell you guys. Some people say, "Oh, you're two professionals. They can't beat you." It's four people, folks. And if we do a burrito in a minute and a half, a three pound, that don't mean we can do a six pound in six minutes. It doesn't just double. It gets slower and slower. Like it's if, if I do like a five pound pizza, I could do it maybe, let's just say 10 minutes. A 10 pound pizza might be double, might be but like, well, a little more, like the second time might be 10 minutes. So 15 minutes yeah. you know, instead of, a, a, well, I'm not doing my math right. No. So 30 minutes. I'm sorry, I thought right. I said five. Right. A five pound pizza, 10 minutes. I thought I said five pounds. But five pound, 10 minutes. So it won't be another 10 minutes. It might be 20 minutes for that second half. So it's just your body, you know, it kind of get, gets right. filled up. It, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. We have no idea how quick we're gonna be. We're gonna, we're gonna give it our all though. We're, we're gonna give it our all. I'm best. going for under four and a half. Four and a half? You like that save? Within a minute or two? A four yeah. and a half? I just did a snow cone. Yeah. Baseball snow cone. I don't know. Four save. and a half seems fast. I mean I would love I would love to do it four minutes, but Well, I shoot for I, I try to shoot for time that, you know, you yeah. know, if I say, Hey, let's do it for ten, we're not gonna really push yourself. I think legit under six minutes is gonna be legitimate time. I don't know how far under we're gonna go. It really depends on the burritos. In this trip we've already done two different burritos. We got pumped by this, like, that's yeah. what you're training. So it's good practice burritos, but you know, they could be different here. I know they're gonna be a lot drier here because the ones we had were covered in queso. Just, I mean, just yeah. soaked they're in They're not queso. gonna put wet on top. So no. it's cleaner to try to eat faster is what right. it is. So we're there, everyone's gonna be doing the same burrito though, but I would imagine it's gonna be slower than the ones we've been doing. And today I will not I will not put pumpkin spice because I don't want anybody saying this is some kind of NASA yeah. approved Jupiter melting device. We've had that already on this trip. And I will probably put take this off too to slow me down because I'll take definitely get over six minutes okay. with that. Wow, might be taking the rings off today. Yeah, the wing, wing a Memphis wing That's, bowl ring, right. AKA Amazon, you, $30. You know we're serious if we don't have the rings on. I'm leaving this in the car. How about that? How about that? You might know how to keep it visible because then people find out what Still it? You, break what, my glass for it? Yeah. Okay. And use it against us. Yes. Like they'll be in there in using the, law. They'll be, no, they'll be using <laughs> the pumpkin spice against us. Oh, wow. Okay. Never thought about that. Maybe we, maybe should, we should put the pumpkin spice in a different container. You know, say it's like, you know, whatever, cinnamon or something. And yeah. They'll, then they'll think. Cinnamon? They'll, they'll try cinnamon or something. Yeah, then they're screwed up. I don't know. Uh, that's pretty good though. Maybe I gotta do that in the future. Okay, well we're gonna get inside and we'll probably get some, uh, if some competitors come, they wanna be on camera, we can talk to them about their strategy, you know, and yeah. maybe maybe give them some tips. Maybe get no, some No, I, I wouldn't need to do that. I'm not gonna be bogus like that, we I will We find amateur eaters and, and amateurs, people that have never attempted food challenges, they give the best advice. Yes. 
You should um, eat the bread last. Yeah, they'll give us like eat the wraps last. Like, eat, oh, pull out all the rice, eat the rice individually, then eat the beans. Yeah, there's some interesting strategies. To people me, really put put some thought into this. To me, that's like a 100 pound guy watching football, and these 400 pound guys are, take it around. He goes, they'll yell. I would have took that right up yeah. the middle. Right up the middle. I would have. Yeah, I would have been the running. ball, folks. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Come on, people. Too early for this. But yeah, they're probably yeah. thinking something else. Probably. Take it up the. the this back is on field. Your, your channel. They definitely think. Of yeah. Themselves. It's weird. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure several of them. He, he said it a, for you. That's what she said. Yeah. That's what he said. Or that's what he said. Because he would. Yeah. Unless she had a device like a like a. Like a pumpkin spice container. Okay, let's get back to where we're at. No, but it's like a hundred pound guy yelling, I would have ran that right down the middle. Yeah. Sir, you could not do that. Or when people use other people to fight their battles. Mm -hmm. Well, they would have stomped you. Yeah. Like, well, would you? Like, yeah. that makes you feel really bad if somebody that could stop me could stop you. I, I think that's, yeah. <laughs> and, and when people watch football or eating challenges on, on video, it's it's easy to second guess, but I do actually I don't mind uh, hearing about uh, people's advice because sometimes I'll go you back to the video and look at it and go, no, you're right. Maybe I should have been drinking more earlier, and I might you know I don't maybe I'll use it maybe not. So I actually like hearing it. Some of it is just you know silly. You know people are being silly on purpose, but sometimes people have have a good point. But yeah, um, you never know. But, but most of the time, most like times with the the. We had to do at least a thousand of these things between us, like between contests and challenges. Well, nine ninety nine at home and videos, yeah, <laughs> at home videos, like <laughs> all the. We have got at least a thousand things behind us, combined, and we pretty much have what works for us. We may not be the best way, but for whatever reason, we feel that that's the most comfortable way for us. Yeah. So, um. Is, three, is that a three-person team there? I don't know. They oh, got they split up. Oh, someone's going in the smoke shop first. Yeah, they're smoke. Oh, they're gonna smoke. Oh. They got a smoke is there shop. Drug testing you this? know what you should do before challenges is smoke yeah. weed. That's something I've heard a couple of times. Yeah, like it's gonna magically unfold a billfold stomach. You're yes. gonna actually fit more in you by smoking it. I'm like, no, nah, I think you're thinking about eating that much before you even eat it, and you get right. full already. Your sense, your yeah. your senses are height, heightened. Well, it's time we yeah we got to get in there. It's level we one. Go. We're one minute late. Let's go. That's not like all us. right. We want to be disqualified. See you. See you inside. Go post stop recording. Yes. Yeah. Hey, we're trying to hurry up and get these pictures in, but uh, we're just going to let you guys know. We got this, uh, I'm not sure if it, what the weight of this is right now, but it's probably at least 11 pounds. Uh, Bob and I are getting all these pictures, and uh, Carlos here, uh, the owner of the restaurant, he is going, uh, putting everything on the social media. So let me uh, shut up and get this going, and I'll talk to you guys after we're done. Guys, I'm here with David Armstrong. Um, showed up to the event. I really do appreciate it. We, we've been talking for a little while um, And uh, I really do thank you for uh, making good on your word You know oh, yeah. some people say that they're gonna make it they can't but uh, he did show up uh, We had some stories to tell about the marathon thing and yes, uh, I have to I have to bring it up uh, But he is a marathon runner and <laughs> myth myth. I just got another piece It, it depends who you talk to but I've heard when I was younger, marathons are 26.2 miles because that's how long that guy had to run to the town marathon or whatever to deliver the message so uh, somebody was coming to fight or something. But Bob just said something about the real story is 35 miles because his dad's a coach. I don't know. I mean, it was close. Yeah. It was close. But uh, he's better at running. I'm better at running to food. Uh, he, he runs away from food probably because you can tell. I'm very hungry right now. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm totally opposite. But he's. Uh, what, what is your? Uh, the wind's blowing a little bit. Hopefully, we can get this good. But what? Uh, what is your Instagram that uh, if people want to follow you to maybe get some health tips or get motivated to do what you do? Yeah, yeah. My uh, my Instagram is Texas uh, T 
protects his mind, body, and spirit out there. And is that all one word? Yes, sir. And it's and, A-N-D? Yeah, it's protects some, okay. his mind, body, and spirit. Oh, right, and that's on Instagram. And yeah. that's mostly where you post your pictures yeah, and stuff? Yeah, that's I post it all there. And it's all about um, you just living the best life that you possibly can. You know, it, it, it's all about, you know, working out, physical, your mindset, and... Like I said, just living the best life you possibly can. Yeah, mindset is the biggest thing. Mindset's key. Yes. Uh, you can do that with anything, with even eating food. Yeah. But we, we trick ourselves into different stuff about yeah. mindset. So it starts there. So it has to start there. If it's not even there, it's not there. No, the way, the way I think of it is, man, anybody can lift weights. But mental game, that has to be key first. Yep. You got that right. Yeah. Well, uh, mentally, uh, we was prepared, Bob and I, to do this uh this burrito challenge and i always tell people and david understands now that if you're late we already ate yeah so he didn't get to see it firsthand he'll, he'll check it out on the uh on the video but uh most important thing he did show up we got to spend some time with uh somebody that watches my channel that's the least i could do is spend time to thank you guys for uh for coming out to the event so i do do thank you hey man my pleasure uh anything else you'd like to add or no man no, it, good? it was a pleasure being up here and I can always watch the uh, the YouTube video when it's posted, but yeah, you can't I'm do this every day. To hang out with y'all. So. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Good and time. we will talk to you once uh, Bob and I wrap this uh, up out here. Please watch the 11 poundish uh, burrito that that should be out in the next few weeks. Uh, so, with that said, thank you, and talk to you on the road. Okay. Right Go post. Stop recording. Hey Bob, I uh, took the um, took the bullet on this one, and he drove to here. We did make it. Uh, traffic was freaking crazy, um, but I'm glad we did make it. We made it right on time, actually, five o'clock on a dot. Uh, we're gonna meet Tyler Garrick here, so I'll get him on the video as well. I think he's coming up here on the left. I think that's yeah. I'm from by neighborhood, so I, I see stuff. Um, so uh, I will uh, see, get a video here in a second, but. Uh, this place looked closed, but he just says open the door. So. Tyler got in. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna get in here. Uh, music's gonna be really loud, so we'll probably talk to you after the vlog. Um, after we do that, well, after, after after the challenge, we'll come back out and talk to you. Um, I probably have to get Tyler and come outside and, and talk to him. I won't say step outside. You don't tell a man to step outside. That means to fight. Okay. I had a boss that said told me. Because I had somebody that said, hey, sir, can, you want to step outside? He said, don't do that. Yes. He learned the hard way. So hopefully we're just going to have fun with this one. I'm not sure what it is. I know it's got waffles, though. Waffenburger? Waffenburger. So yeah, it's a sounds German. On a waffle? I'm not sure. It's like a waffle burger, waffle burger, waffle burger. Something like that. Okay. Say that three times fast. Okay. Well, let's get in here and shut up. Go post, stop recording. Hey, right here, right here. What is happening? What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm good. It's probably gonna be loud in here real quick. Yeah, it's a little bit of music going on. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it real quick. Uh, hey guys, this is Tyler, Tyler Garrick. What's going um, on, team? Yeah, he uh, he made it to the uh, East Coast, Kenny's East Coast Pizza. Uh, so I really appreciate him doing that. And he's showing up because he's only showing up because he wants cookie butter cake and banana bread. I got it. Can I put my contacts in? Because I can't see. Yeah. All right, go me, ahead. Go ahead. Give me a minute, team. Go ahead. And um, we're gonna um, we're gonna get that out there probably. We probably there, oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I, I can see. All right. He uses that at work. <laughs> every day. And, every uh, single day. So I'm uh, um, I'm gonna get. You want that? You want it later? Like when we get done, get it out. Yeah, we can get it. Yeah, when you get okay. done. Okay. It's hard to look at it with the glasses with a straight face, <laughs> but I, I know how to do that. I can do that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're gonna get in here and we'll talk to to Tyler and uh, get Bob's reaction of. Of, of what we're about to do it's a waffen burger so we're uh, we're, we're going to see what this thing looks like and we'll talk about it after we get done all right let's go down inside it's going to be dark in here so i'm probably going to cut
Hey everybody, I'm gonna have to tell you, I apologize when we got out of the uh, end zone bar and grill, uh, we got to talking to Tyler a little more and the, and the two gentlemen that was sticking around to watch the challenge. Um, we had to hit the road and we had traffic, so I didn't get to even talk to you guys right when we left that, but we got to the hotel about two hours ago but I had to go live, so I was hurrying up doing that. Uh, but I wanted to say, I wanted to get Bob in here, but he's, he's sleeping right now. So I wanted I wanted to say thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. And uh, I did, in the live, thank everybody that donated. Uh, there's more people that donated here. Um, they're, on, they're on the screen here. Um, I can't go through all of it right now, but I will probably try to add it later on. Um, you guys in the live, the Friday the 8th that did donate uh, more money, I do thank you. But right now, um, John Lyons, Drugstore Makeup Diva, Jeff Swartz, Terry Good Enough, Brian Jack, Anthony W., Philip Wolf, East with Richard and his girlfriend Crystal, Anna Kammerer, Terry Bowen, Kathy, aka Judy O'Neill. Um, also, uh, tonight, I know Casey Carter had actually bought a uh, jacket to help out uh, to further support and sent uh, a donation to whatever I wanted to do. So I'm trying to figure out something to do with that later. Um, each with Richard, uh, each with uh, Richard with Crystal had donated a little more tonight. It's not letting me scroll up any further. Um, I can go to my phone real quick and I'll do that and I'll, and I'll shut up. Um, I'm, try, I'm trying to let Bob sleep. Um, Cash App. Got to find out activity. Here we go. Um, Martinez, thank you very much. Uh, and I've already said Casey. Mars said East with Crystal. We got a Venmo. Let's check Venmo real quick, guys. Brian Jack, uh, thank you very much. So, uh, with uh, the, the, the few that I did miss out on the live, uh, I do apologize. Uh, I couldn't write everything down. I didn't have a pen on me. Uh, that said, I am going to get some sleep. I got some extra coffee for the morning. So when I wake up, I will see you uh, with some coffee in my face, in your face, in both of our face. Good night. Go post. Stop recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.